Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Jupiter Linked. Ajeng keren u Dr. Ricky Eja Singkon, ha parlimen, u badai u MP Jongi na Shilong Sid, na ka parti u VV, ha ka badai berka jing syak pendek berka jing bom syong syengan jongki pajbak ka Meghalaya, ki ba syong haki kaput jongka asam bad Bangladesh. Kumta u Dr. Ricky, u lakan tu ya u Prime Star ba unsim ki, ban ajeng syengan nyaki pajbak ka Meghalaya, ki ba syak pendek haki kaput jongka asam bad Bangladesh. Dr. Ricky, ulah keren ruk halor ke keting khasi Badai ban pendurung no ya ke keting khasi haka each shadow Namar la bun senam Keladon ke jingdawa ban pendurung ya ke keting khasi haka each shadow Dr. Ricky, ulah kentu ya ke sorkar kum juru ya ke membar jongka liang persya Baki day ban ya kersyan liam Ban pendurung no ya ke keting khasi haka each shadow Dr. Ricky, ulah dawaru ya ke sorkar Baka dia benbu ya ki sentar to exam na kem takan need berka CUT exam Haman laki blok Kenang baki kena kinsuk Namar bun ki kena ki haban sangit no ban let to ya ki neki exam Na kadao ka jing jingai pelat jong ki sentar to exam Wat la u doktor Ricky u duan tang marwey na ka parti u VVP Nrei u klem sengap jar Bat u lakren si bun ki mat na kem takan jala meghalaya Doktor Ricky Andrew Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to take part in this motion of thanks on the President's address. Well, it is uh, with a great joy that I stand here on behalf of each and every soul that uh, of the one shalong parliamentary seat who have supported me and who have enabled me to stand in this, uh, in this great institution and to speak it is uh, this almost at the last hour of the day. Mr. Chairman, I just want to remind myself, to remind the members of this 18th Lok Sabha and also the rest of and the people of this country that nothing is impossible with God. Why I say this is because of the fact that I belong to a party which we started just less than three years ago. And it is a party which fought the election without money, a party that fought against corruption, a party that stands for clean politics, good governance, honesty, and for the protection of the rights of the indigenous people. And also to uphold the constitution of this great nation, to ensure secularism, pluralism, federalism that these, that the tenets of our great nation prevail. So, King Solomon the Great said these words, that a nation without a vision will perish. Well, I was very delighted to hear the words futuristic, the words vision in the address by the Honorable President. While I was patiently waiting for, you know, what is the future, what is there in the vision of the President's address, as a first-time MP, I was listening patiently to hear where the government will take the nation, how the government will take it. But unfortunately, I did not get much except for the achievement that the government in the past has accomplished. Well, I wish that the government will be more explicit in its endeavor. Mr. Chairman, while mentioning the lasting peace in the Northeast, as is, uh, is spelled out in the presidential address, I would like to remind the government of the day and also the government of the past, led by the Congress government, that our people, my people, 
living especially in the border with Assam, in the border with Bangladesh, I tell you till today, they don't feel safe at all. They feel very threatened. And what is even sad is that the lands have been taken away from them. They've lost their livelihood. Why? Because of the failure of subsequent government to settle this dispute, which has been there for many, many years. We talk about development of the nation. That is dependent on the development of the states. That is what even our Honorable Prime Minister said these words. Now, how can we talk of development when people till today, till this very moment, are yearning for peace? I therefore urge the government to kindly take up this matter seriously. And I wish and I hope that the Prime Minister himself will take the lead in putting an end to this long pending issue in the interest of our great nation in general and in the interest of my people, especially those living in the border areas. Mr. Chairman, there's a saying that small is beautiful. Well, I am proud to stand here to represent one of the most beautiful people living in the far part of in the eastern part of this great nation called the Khasis. And also coming from one of the most beautiful place on earth. Mr. Chairman, I urge and I call upon the government and also the members of this August House to play a role in enriching and promoting the culture of my people, especially when we talk of culture, language is one of the important elements. For many years, we've been demanding yes, for the inclusion of the Khasi language in the eighth schedule. I hope, with the support of members, that one day, just like while I was sitting here, you know, from day one, hearing our friends speaking their own language. How I wish that one day, very soon, that you will also get to hear the language that I speak, the Khasi language. And I hope that the government, members in the opposition, would support this, the inclusion of the Khasi language in the eighth schedule. Okay, sir. Kindly conclude, sir. Well, the government talks about development. Let me remind this House that Shillong, or rather Meghalaya, is one of the famous tourist destination. And while talking to friends outside in the corridor, when they ask me where do I come from, I say, I come from Shillong. Oh, Shillong is a very beautiful place. I hope members who have never visited Shillong or Meghalaya for that matter would one day make it a point to visit Meghalaya. But the sad part is that Meghalaya is now almost 52 years old. Unfortunately, till today, well, we have an airport, but an airport which is not where big planes cannot land. Even though, that, even though the, the, the fact remains that Shillong, or rather Meghalaya, is a, as, you know, tourism has so much potential. Thank you, sir. Please come. Let me finish, sir. This is my maiden speech. I'll just take a uh, few more points. I just hope that the government, the concerned ministry, would help the state to ensure that this, this airport is an airport where large plane can, can land. And finally, sir, we've been talking a lot about the, you know, the leakage, the exams. I would like to draw the attention of the members of this August House that there's another important issue which I feel as members we should take and look at it seriously. 
while designing a policy, you know, like the CET need for, the, for our youth, what I want to say here, sir, is that before we do, we come up with such policy, I think it's very important to ensure that there is, that the centers are adequate or the adequacy of the test, of the test center. Otherwise, what is happening to, I'm a teacher. It pains me when I come across students who have to put, put a stop to the career for the simple fact that they have to travel to far off places. Thank you, sir. Why? Because there is Mr. no test center in their place. Mr. Manikam, well, I hope Tagore. that the government, while coming up with such policy, do keep this also in mind, to set up centers at every block, which would be a great asset to the, you know, to the state and also the nation as a whole. Thank you, Doc. Last but not the least, let me just end up with this quote, sir, that I call upon this, you know, the members of this August House. Let us rise up. As Nehemiah said, let us rise up and build. Let us rise up above party, party yes, politics. Let us rise up above you know, caste, religion, and creed, and let us build this nation. If we want to see and develop Kampere. India, I would request each of them remember to rise up and build this great nation. Thank you so much, sir. <coughs>